in this video we will see what's the impact of x by r ratio on the system this is a system where transformer tr03 and tr04 there are two transformers let's check the x by r ratio go to the impedance tab here x by r ratio is 13 let's check the second transformer x by r ratio this is also 13 because the transformer is reactive in nature so this is the, this is the index this is inductive load this percentage value of x is too much higher as compared to the resistance so x by r ratio is 13 so in both the transformers x by r ratio is same that is 13 let's go to the short circuit mode and let's run the device duty here we can see this 6.6 kb board bus a and bus b the short circuit level is 6.3 6.3 ka to check the impact of x by r ratio let's run this 61363 ic 61363 this is for transient short circuit let's run this one so this is 6.318 ka 6.334 ka approximate same for bus a and bus b short circuit level okay to check the impact of x y r ratio for better understanding let's go to the graph here so let's plot this one select 6.6 kb bus a and bus b not 33 kb okay i want to check here current iac rms symmetrical idc value percentage idc so all the values i want to check okay so here the first plot this is i k a this is idc or dc component dc component because of this dc component that asymmetrical values will come asymmetrical or the peak value this is envelope current i will discuss now okay this is iac rms value this is symmetrical short circuit current let's close this dc component also this is symmetrical uh, this is symmetrical current almost same for bus a and bus b and this is percentage dc component this is also same this is decaying exponentially decaying okay so what's the this percentage dc component and what's this i envelope let's discuss in brief suppose this is a curve here you can see this is the top envelope this is subtransient zone this one is transient zone and this is stable zone steady state stability zone okay so during first half cycle of any fault any short circuit in the system then this peak will appear this is ip i peak i peak is the vector summation of this symmetrical component as well as this dc component as you can see this is the dc component of short circuit current because of this dc component this top envelope is creating that means this peak value is coming this is ip this is ip 
and this is the top envelope and this is bottom envelope this is applicable when the fault is far away from generator once again when the fault occurs at far away from generator because generator reactance will not come into effect on the other hand if we see this case this is the fault is happening near to generator in this case you can see there is also the dc component this is sub transient zone and during first half cycle this is the peak value here is the transient period transient zone and here is the steady state zone so on contrary to the short circuit happening far away from generator in case of this fault which is happening near to generator this is decaying this is decaying very fast and this steady state stability is attaining so in case of far far away fault location in that case there will be no effect of this generator subtransient reactance but in this case due to the substantial reduction of generator subtransient reactance the steady state stability will be attained let's go back to it type again okay so this is the i envelope this is rms symmetrical current and this is percentage dc component which is decaying exponential rate now we will see what's the impact of transformer x by r ratio on this percentage dc component as well as this symmetrical rms current by changing the transformer x by r ratio so let's close this one and go back to the etf main file here what i will do i will change the x by r ratio of one transformer keeping the other transformer x by r ratio unchanged so that we can compare at the same place what's the impact of changing the x by r ratio on the fault current whether symmetrical or asymmetrical so let's keep this tr03 same this x by r ratio as 13 okay let's change the x by r ratio of tr04 here let's put 9999 okay keeping all other parameters impedance or any other thing all other parameters giving unchanged just i have changed the x by r ratio of this transformer tr04 now let's check what's the impact let's run this 61363 again if you can remember this fault current is same 6.318 here slightly changed 6.323 but approximate same this symmetrical value this symmetrical value is not changing too much let's understand better understand with the help of this plot let's go to this curve again 6.6 kb bus a and bus b i am selecting all all the 
drives here ok now here let's check this DC component first of all because of this DC component the impact will be there on the system in case of 6.6 kb bus A this one previously for 6. Point bus 6.6 kb bus B previously it was also aligned with that but now it is increased this DC component is increased that means the rate of decay has been changed it had been it has been slowed down by increasing the x by r factor and because of that because of that dc component you can see this is the percentage dc percentage dc content here for 6.6 kb bus a previously it was there and bus b also it was here only but it has it has gone up upwards for bus b because of changing the x by r ratio and and because of that the i peak value will be increased the i peak value will be increased not the symmetrical current really because you see here the symmetrical rms value almost same there is no significant change in the rms value but this percentage dc component value has been changed let's check the peak value let's see the peak value here if you click here peak display option then it will show this peak value here you can see 15.468 ka peak value ip whereas in bus b it is 16.351 ka that means it is increased in case of transformer tier 04 because we have increased the x by r ratio of this transformer that's why it is changed if i change it back to the same what was i think 13 let's check back once again this peak value let's run this 16.351 now it's you can see 15.453 15.453 here 15.469 this is the peak value whereas the symmetrical value if we again want to check here symmetrical rms value you can see there is no significant impact here 6.318 ka and here 6.334 ka so we can conclude that the impact of x by r ratio on the system is that it will increase the short circuit peak value because of the increase of dc component idc dc current the peak value will be increased but the symmetrical short circuit current will not be changed so this is the basic whenever you are studying as a power system engineer sometimes we are getting confused if we change the xyr ratio what's the impact on the power system network so just keep in mind there is no as such significant change in the symmetrical rms short circuit current rather it has the impact in the percentage dc current which in turn is increasing the peak current ip peak value of the short circuit current